disconnect the negative battery terminal. You're going to want to take off the the heat shield, which goes down there. And you pull right out. Heat shield. Yeah, this is a pain in the butt right here. It didn't want to. That's the clearance right there, the end of that bolt thread. And there's like a little gap between the exhaust manifold and the little. It hardly ever, it doesn't budge at all. Now you have access to loosen the EGR from the exhaust manifold. Okay, we're deep inside the car. We have a little, little plastic canopy going on here. All right. <laughs> All right, what we're doing here is we're taking off the exhaust manifold. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then these bolts down here, there's one, there's one there, there, you can't see it. And then that one, I need to get off. Take the exhaust manifold off. To disconnect the O2 sensor, get a flathead screwdriver and find the connector. Push in on the little... Um, plastic thing sticking out of the connector push it in and then just pull at the same time and you'll unpull it you'll pull it out and these fasteners the nut sometimes the nut the nut should just come off and then the stud stays on but this is all this is a 15 year old car so the stud and nut is coming off all one time don't worry about that that's cool once you get the exhaust manifold off I'll have to take off the gasket get it all cleaned up and then I'll have to get, get a new one a new gasket and the top right one the uh, there's a little tiny sleeve on here. They'll want you to replace that too on the exhaust manifold. All right, here is the PCV location. Right. I don't know if I got it in camera or not, but it goes. This goes over that sleeve like that, and silver goes in there so I gotta slide that on there yeah, it's good to go and if you're wondering how I got that rubber sleeve off there and the PCV valve out of there I had to cut it I had to cut the old connector tube because man was that thing in there it was greased up and blah. since I tore off blah. the old rubber sleeve trying to get it off there I had to cut a new one all right, I got that in there, and then all you gotta do now is uh, slip it on there somehow. It's gonna be a hard fit, but I'm gonna try it. That was hard as sh New gasket, old gasket. And there's the bottom part that goes to the catalytic converter. Old, new. And then PZ PCV valve. Here's the old one. It's got black sludge in there and oil and crap. And the new one I already put on the, the vehicle. It's really silvery. It's like that color up there. The whole thing's silver. I use an old sock to clean up the uh, surfaces. <laughs> if you have the chemicals, which I don't, you it needs a good alodizing treatment for aluminum parts. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So now I'll put the gasket and manifold on which took me about an hour or two because, you know, it's uh, silly. It's a silly car. I'm a silly person. But once you get that on, all tight and cool and yeah, then you're going to want to get that on the right-hand side, the EGR valve to twist in on there. I used some uh, PB Blaster to get that sucker in there because I kept turning and it kept doing nothing. I uh, sprayed that sucker. I used a screwdriver to push it while I turned it clockwise. And finally, it, the thread took and it <clears throat> went in. And after that, I put the O2 sensor, screwed it back on, and then connected the uh, O2 sensor connector. And then I got the heat shield, got it on there, buttoned it all up, and then I uh, connected the well I put the dipstick back in there <clears throat> that was fun the dipstick rod and then put the dipstick in and then I put all the little giz giz the gadgets and gizmos and yada 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 and I just then I uh, connected the uh, <clears throat> negative battery terminal and then I fired up the beast and it had a little bit of white smoke 
Drive around a little bit, and boom, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. See, there's a little connector. You put a screwdriver down inside that hole. Well, there's a little uh, switch thing. It sticks up. You push down on it, and then you can pull it, pull the connector out. All right. Once you get the manifold off the engine, you can take it inside or do whatever. And I use the box in. I push. I put it over the wire, and then now I got it loose, and I'm gonna take it off. That way, it'd be easier on reinstallation. Okay, what you got here is a heat shield fasteners. You got one fastener with the washer, another fastener with the washer, and another fastener with the washer. Alright, that's the heat shield. Over here, you have the stud, which came off with the nut you can, for the um, exhaust manifold. The nuts can come off by, them, by themselves and then but these are so rusted up that when I turn the nut with a 14, I use a 3 8 oh cool, 3 8 uh, inch uh, socket, I mean ratchet, and then a 14 millimeter, 13, 13 millimeter on these ones, and 14 millimeter on the ones on the uh, nuts that went on the studs to the bottom of the exhaust manifold. There's four of them. There's, let's see, one right there, and then two of the nuts came off. I have to get the other studs off. And to get those studs off, off the bottom, I'm using a, <laughs> got metric, and then I'm using, this is a 932nd, and it has an, um, this is 932nd, and it has an extension. So it's a deep socket, 932nd socket, and then, uh, Here's the extension, and then here's here's the ratchet. I can't do it with one hand, but uh, yep. And then there's a supporting brace. That's for the um, heat shield. That, that's yeah, supporting brace. And then there's battery terminal cleaner. And yep. Right now I'm just cleaning them up. I'm gonna use a wire brush, and I sprayed some uh, thread cleaner. But, uh, yep, that's that.